our Waves Burner segment this week, we feature a young and daring Nigerian, Alade Adetola Gabriel. Alade Adetola Gabriel is the CEO of ATG Paparazzi. He is a wedding and lifestyle photographer, and because of his love for traveling and exploring the wonders of the earth, he decided to make money of his passion and thus become a tour guide, holiday maker, and a vacation planner. He founded ATG Advent Tours three years ago as a child of necessity. Tola holds an ordinary national diploma in banking and finance from the Polytechnic Ibadan before venturing into entrepreneurship. His undying love for sustainable tourism development keeps pushing him to use his camera and photography skills as a tool for advocacy to foster developmental growth. Tola has, since the inception of his tour business, led thousands of Nigerians on various adventures and vacation trips to explore and discover the neutral and artistic side of Nigeria, thereby creating a platform for people to network while reigniting their love for the environment and beloved country Nigeria. Tola is a red carpet host, wedding and lifestyle photographer, and a professional tour guide. He is a member of the UN African Development Storytelling Conference. Uh, my name is Tola Gabriel, a wedding lifestyle photographer, and a tour operator, holiday maker, and a vacation planner. Yeah, a tour operator is just a personnel where a firm that organizes tours who take all the stress and bustle for you. You just pay a particular amount for us. Then we take you out to tourist sites, tourist attractions, a relaxation ground where you can just enjoy your money that you've been doing, the walking, 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 walking all along. A place of relaxation just to unwind and take you off stress of the Lagos Island and the Lagos Bosnia. Yeah, my experience has been awesome. Uh, it's not been really easy managing people, but I can tell you they are the best people you can ma still manage. My experience as a tour operator has been so fun. I've missed with different race of people. I've dealt with um, different character, my do's and don'ts. Now I have to adapt to the level of, oh, okay, this is what I do, do. This is what my client does not. This is what my client wants. And managing like 5, 10, 20 people at a time has not been an, it has been an equivalent task. But mind you, the main goal is you are coming out of your comfort zone to enjoy yourself. And it has been awesome. And people have given great and nice feedback and they still want to explore and discover more prior to their thinking of I don't have time, I don't have money to go on vacations. Now looking at the profit side of the business, <laughs> well, as, 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 a, as, a, as a new upcoming tour operating firm, like a tour broker firm, um, it has not been, but it is now. Starting it up is not just funny as a Nigerian because um, we need the government to just educate every individual about the importance and the values of tourism. Until we start knowing that, then we start understanding it. And I think is, that is the new oil well in Nigeria. Nigeria is blessed. And as my popular quote, Nigeria is a land of tourism, not a land of terrorism. So, it has not been easy, but it's going to be easy when the government starts educating us about tourism and making us understand it is something nice. And there's this regulatory control we need in the media by not portraying the bad, 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 bad side always. Our youth, uh, as every individual needs to understand that, Nigeria is in Nigeria and our originality speaks for us. And it's a land of tourism. We have the best. We have um, we have the best um, animal life. That is in the north. We have different eels for hiking. We have natural beach resorts, and we have more natural tourist sites than attractions. I can tell the outside world have more attractions. They create what they want, but we have it naturally here. And the government needs to educate us more on it so that we can really understand what we are doing. So, so far so good. The business has been 
profitable. Because travel is the only thing that you buy and you still get richer. Um, I could say it's passion. I, I was deprived that because of different phobias when I was growing up. I have phobia for height, phobia for waters, phobias for so many things. I just, I'm an introvert. Yeah, a very shy person. Then when I grew up, I realized I've been deprived of so many things and I discovered myself. I found joy traveling about. I found joy seeing new things. I found joy making discoveries. I find joy exploring and I took it as a hobby, as a passion and anything you find as a passion, you really need to work around it and make it an income making investment for you. I travel a whole lot and it makes me just a wanderer. But mind you, by the time I'm back, I'm a storyteller. And what sells most in this part of the world is your storytelling abilities. It makes you a storyteller. It makes me a writer. I used to be a very lazy writer. Now I can write more. So each time I travel, I gain more insight to do more, to explore more, and to bring out the sleeping giant in me. I can tell my, my I, 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 I have so many giants in me that are sleeping. And traveling has brought everything out. It has been my life because adventure is life. Life is adventure and travel is fun and travel is big. Oh, traveling expensive? I would say no. It's just first develop your passion, like nurture your passion and embrace your passion. Do I really want to do this? Do I really want to just be in a place? Do I really want to just keep on to my day-to-day -day life, living that same cycle of wake up, go to work, come back home, wake up, go to work, come back home? I've been in some areas, Obafemi Awolowo University, for example, I took, there was a time I went there, took out few of their students out to some tourist sites that are just five, ten minutes drive from their school and they've never been there and they've spent five, four years in that environment. One of my major core best experience so far, everything in life entails around networking. And when you network with people, you travel when you travel, when you go on tours, when you go on vacations, you end you 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 network with people of like minds, people of different race, people of different culture, and that gives you the scope of life. It brings you out of your shell. It brings the real person in you. I told you I used to be an introvert. Imagine an introvert traveling all over the world. Always happy when I hear, let us travel. So I think the travel business, the venture business, the tourism business is something I will encourage you to embrace. Embrace it like, yes, it is the new oil well. I bet you, you will make a whole lot of money from it. Because when you're a storyteller, you're making plenty, plenty money. 100%. Oh, the most interesting place I've been to is the Olumere Waterfall in Elisha and, and the Aikunuba Waterfall. It is the only waterfall that I have seen as an engineer that the first one ascends, while the other one descends to the seven steps. It is amazing. It is amazing. You need to see it. Like, it is not unlike the artificial one you see when you go out to those to the islands, to Lekki, to VGC. It is just natural. And you imagine a waterfall descending and gushing naturally. And the one that is ascending. Wow. You need to be there. I think embrace Nigerian tourism. Think Nigeria. Eat Nigeria. Invest in Nigeria. And you're not going to miss out. 100%. Oh, I'm happy because it brings out the real me. It, it brings out the real me. It makes me joy. It solves every of my problems, my sorrows. Whenever I travel, I forget about all the worries of life because I meet fresh people, new ideas, new race, new culture. And I thank God that God, you're too much in my life. You've been awesome. Yes, 
Nigerians, control them. 100% with the current dispensation. Just get your things right. <laughs> Apparently, do some PR academy stuff. Visit some ways, some strategies to run your business. Nigerians are just sweet with pictures and nice, nice shots. Thrillers, snipers of everywhere you want to take them to. Please, the people really want to escape from all this Ozil and Bozo because they've worked 24 7 to make money and they are not even enjoying it. So when you just give them a way of escape, like you can enjoy your money here, Piam, they are off it. So, Nigerians, I'm controlling you. I've been in the business for the past three years and it has been fun and I am employing and encouraging every youth out there to embrace tourism. I, I wouldn't even want to tell you this. I know you won't trust me, but you will believe me because we have the best natural sites in the world. We don't create attractions. That is one thing we've not been doing. And if we start doing that, wow, you will miss that. But the good news about Nigeria is this. Note that. Nigeria is a land of tourism and non-terrorism. I know you didn't get that. You know tourism and terrorism, they are the same. But I tell you, no, I'm not collecting from you. I tell you for free. Nigeria is a land of tourism and not terrorism. Oh! I see a greater Nigeria through me. I see a greater Nigeria through my brand. I see the reason why people invest in Nigeria, eat Nigeria, talk Nigeria, wear Nigeria, and embrace Nigeria as a land of tourism and not terrorism. So I see my business in the next five years, one of the best travel firm that sells Nigeria to the world as a giant of Africa once again. We can do it again, and I'm on the verge of doing that. Watch out for me. Okay, yeah, I am making money in the business because every time I travel, it makes me rich. <laughs> <laughs>